Day four. I spoke to one who smelled of death and gave to me his ears. And crosses that were marked were made into a veil of tears. Okay, bye. Who the hell is that guy outside the window? <laughs> You're not speaking to me this morning? Don't be silly. I just have nothing to say. Did you find out anything about that pattern I gave you? Yeah, I did find something. I checked the microfiche at the public library. I found an article about a murder in 1810. The newspaper published a part of a pattern found around the body. It looks damn close. You're incredible. All that work. Forget it. Have it your way. Alright, let's take note of the guy outside. Have you noticed this guy outside the shop? Yeah. He gives me the creeps. I wish he'd go away. Get the hell out of here. The figure outside does not respond. Alright, you better watch yourself, motherfucker. Alright, let's talk to Grace, see if we have any messages. Or probably that package came in or something. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Do you have messages for me? Nope. Well, None right now. Well, it's good. It, I imagine it takes a while to get... Um, for a package from Germany to arrive in America anyway, so. Alright, let's pick up our newspaper for the day. Times Picahune. Dated June 21st, 1993. Gabriel's eye is immediately drawn to an article about the voodoo murders. He scans it quickly. I don't believe this. They've closed the case. What case? The voodoo murders case. The paper says that the police have learned that the murders were the result of an underworld cartel war and that the war is over. That's not good. It's ridiculous. What about the killers? And the voodoo angle, they never got anything on there. I know you were into it, Gabriel. But if it's over, that's hardly a negative. Anyway, if you're that upset, why don't you talk it over with your pal Mosley? You don't get it, Grace. Just... Forget it, okay? Gabriel decides to check his horoscope, despite his disgust. Death walks close oh, to boy. you today. Resist temptation, lest his eye fall on you too. Peachy. Alright, let's head out to the police station. I'll be back later. Have fun. I'm here to see... He's in his office. Has that beignet guy been by yet today? I'm starved. I haven't seen him in a while. I don't think he's coming by here anymore. Damn. You can't count on anything these days. Alright, let's go talk to our pal, Mostly. Mostly, my man. Yeah, yeah, what is it, you wanker? Knight, I hate to tell you this, but you're out of a book. The voodoo murders case has been closed. I had a feeling you were going to say that, son of a bitch. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. What's the status on the voodoo murders case? The case? What case? I told you. The voodoo murders case is closed. How can you just close it? It's not solved, is it? Oh, it's solved. 
Turns out the Chicago Mafia was trying to invade local territory, using Mississippi for drug running now that Florida's so hot. What we had here was a little resistance from local businessmen. Word came in this morning that the Chicago group is giving up and pulling out of New Orleans. But that doesn't bring the killers to justice. Well, the boys upstairs seem to figure it this way. Let the slime kill each other. Better the vermin we know than the Chicago vermin, I guess. The attitude in the department is that we've just been done a huge favor. Well, they're probably right. What about the local cartel? Are you just gonna let them go? At least they're part of us. We'll deal with them over time, I always have. New Orleans is pretty clean that way, you know. Well, that's the illusion, isn't it? Look, I'm not totally in agreement here either, but what can I do? These guys are not about to get caught. I'm disappointed about the book, too. Next big murder case I get, I'll call you in and we'll do that one upright, okay? In fact, I could probably dig up some old cases and you could spice them up. No, thanks. How can I convince you to reopen the case? Look, the department's not interested. So? Couldn't you make them interested? With what? I've got seven bodies and still no leads. The voodoo angle's worthless. And besides, these people aren't hurting anybody but out-of-town drug dealers and hitmen. The voodoo stuff is not worthless. It's the key to the whole thing. And these people are dangerous. They need to be stopped. Okay. You want me to reopen this case? Prove what you just said. What do you mean? You need to prove there's a legitimate voodoo cult in New Orleans. Prove that they're a threat. Get me a lead on the cult. Okay. So what it means by that is we bring in items that we have on the voodoo stuff and then uh, show it to them. So let's show him that uh, snake scale we found. I picked up this scale at Lake Pontchartrain. Yeah? Well, what makes you think it's related to the murders? Well, it was at the crime scene. Sure. Must be from the only snake in Louisiana, all right. That voodoo snake. Christ. Uh... This is the... Yeah, here we go. It's a newspaper clipping from the year 1810. The newspaper clipping describes a ritualistic murder in Congo Square. It includes a rough sketch of a pattern found around the body. The sketch is very similar to the reconstructed VV. Alright, so we show this also to Mosley. This is a newspaper clipping about a murder committed in 1810. That murder is an exact match of the voodoo murders, right down to the marks around the bodies. Hmm. This does sound like the same M.O. 1810? 1810. They killed then, they're killing now. Isn't that proof that they're likely to kill again? That they are a threat? Sure. If there is a voodoo cult, they're a threat. Uh, what else can we show him? Um, maybe this? These symbols are from Marie Laveau's tomb in St. Louis Cemetery. They're part of a secret voodoo code, which I had translated by a voodoo yen. Do they say anything about the murders? Well, not exactly. I'm sure that's a legit code of some sort, Knight, but unless it gives me the names and addresses of the killers, I don't think it'll be much help at this point. Alright, I think that's all we had to show them, so let's head back out. Sam, my man. Hey there, it's you. I got that bracelet for you. This piece was a real toughie. For some reason, the metal just wasn't setting. I must be out of practice. Well, it looks good to me. Thanks, Sam. No problem. By the way, I'm heading out of town tonight. Yeah, where to? Marcus used to tell me that if I ever beat him at chess, he'd take me around the world. 
The old bastard has enough money stuffed in his mattress to cover the federal deficit, and he hates spending a penny of it. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy watching him squirm through every mile. Sounds like fun. Good luck. Are you kidding? Luck is my middle name. All right, so we got the uh, bracelet that the guy made. Sam's replica of Madame Kazunu's snake bracelet looks just like the original. Oh, the binoc. I like that. These binoc. There we go. Ah, there's a crash over here. That's Crash. What the hell is he up to with that drummer? Yeah, it looks like he's heading up to the church. So we're just gonna head there now to meet up with Crash. What are you doing here? I I'm praying. Leave me alone. Why are you praying? I'm praying for my life, man. You look pretty sick. Shouldn't you be in a hospital? Hospital wouldn't do nothing. Leave me alone. I need to talk to you. Ask you some questions. No way, man. I'm, I'm too sick. Let's go away. Come on! I have to know what you know about these voodoo people. You, you don't know nothing about nothing, man. You're so far out of it, you wouldn't understand anything. Just like that friend of yours, Mosley. Go away. I'm not like Mosley. I know more than you think I do. I'll believe you. Forget it, man. It's not worth my breath. Alright, let's see if we can show him that bracelet. Do you recognize this? Where'd you get that? Why? Do you know something about it? Know something about it? Look at this. Grash opens his shirt and reveals a tattoo. It's the same. The same snake. It's their sign. The mark of the snake. Without it, they'll never let you get close. The sign of the snake. Right. Your tattoo, my bracelet. Now, do you believe that I know something about these people? Yeah. You know about them, I... <coughs> I guess. Will you answer some questions for me now? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll talk to you a little. I'll make it fast. Oh, you don't look so good. I saw you talking to that drummer. What did you tell him? You saw me with the drummer? Nobody's supposed to see. Shit! I blow it again. I promise you won't say nothing to no one. It'll get back to him, everything does. I promise me you won't tell anyone you saw me. Okay, but you have to tell me everything I want to know. Okay. Okay. I was sending a message, man. They have these... These, these rotter drummers posted around the quarter. They see everything. And they report. Report? How? The drums, man. It's, a, it's some kind of code. Now, tell me what you know about voodoo. All I know is these people are into some weird shit. They have power. Real power. They can write your name on a piece of paper, chew it, and you end up eating meat. Like you've been through a, a, a grinder. <coughs> They know things in their heads. Things that no one ever knew about you. They 
They know when you lie. They can smell it. They're fucking scary, man. It's a bug hunt, man. It's a bug hunt. The devil or what? But it ain't no fake shit, man. It's real. Now, tell me about the voodoo murders. They did the murders. And that's not the only way they kill. They can get you from miles away. Just by saying your name. Come on, you don't really believe that, do you? I seen it, man. You can't cross them. Tell me about the Rada drums. I already told you about that. Do you know anything about snakes? The eyes. Snake's eyes. Dumbala. Okay, the calm horror. down. The horror. Now tell me about the animal masks. They were them. Dancing at the rituals. They don't just wear them. They become them. They become the animals. Stop talking nonsense. It happens. That's all I know. Do you know anything about Veves? I never heard of that. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? <laughs> they always met outside somewhere at night. I saw them last year dancing and howling. You don't want to be anywhere near them. Do you have any idea what Capri Saint Gaulle means? I never heard of that. Tell me what you know about a secret voodoo hanfu in New Orleans. All right. There's this, uh, this is an uh, underground cartel in, in New Orleans. A voodoo cartel. They control everything that happens on the street. I mean everything, bought or sold. They have their fingers in the legit world too. Banks. Foreign stuff, you name it. There's supposed to be this temple. What you said, the Hound Four. That's the headquarters. I heard people say it's it's uh, underground, uh, somewhere in the French Quarter. I don't know where. Have you ever been there? Uh, no, no, I, I, I've never been in it. I, I'm a nobody. A runner, but I, I saw them once out at the lake. They became animals, man. Beasts. I remember the eyes. Uh, oh, the eyes. Hey, are you okay? The eyes. The eyes of the snake. I think I should go get a doctor. Hey, are you all right? Someone, I need help. The eyes of the snake. Dambala. Oh. What snake? Crash. Crash spasms Beware twice more. Of the and thriller. Oh God. Poor bastard. Ugh. You don't look too good. Crash's face shows signs of strangulation. His death was not a pleasant one. Oh, uh, they got to him. And so we we gotta pull up his shirt and uh, take a note of that. I guess I better copy this tattoo. All right. That's something we need that's uh, pretty important.
It's getting late. Gabriel decides to go home for the day. Hello? It's me. I can't sleep. Oh, me neither. Can I? Yes. Come. A5. The road was blocked. The truth was shunned. The white flag had been waved. Reversal cost me all I had and everything I'd braved. Are you okay, Gabriel? <sighs> sure. Great. Why? I'm worried about you. If I were any better, Grace, I'd be dead. Now, what's up? Thought you got another package this morning. FedEx from Germany. I hope they didn't fuck up my shipment by throwing it at the door. <laughs> I was expecting that. Where is it? Well, it kind of came open, but I salvaged the contents. There was a letter from your Yeah, definitely from Daniel FedEx. Jones. The package just came open, huh? How'd you like the journal? Someone has to look after you. You're in trouble. In case you don't know it. Yeah, you've been reading my horoscope again, haven't you, Grace? Just read the journal carefully, Gabriel. Please. I got it. I got it. St. George's books. <clears throat> oh, Professor Hartridge, I'm glad you called. Did you... You did? Wait, slow down. The Aigri? Really? You think that's them? The wheel within a wheel. A goon but Aigri, huh? Well, that does sound like it. Dumbala, the snake. That's the wavy pattern at the bottom, okay. The 1791 slave revolt in Santo Domingo. That's a mouthful. Well, why would Neve <laughs> show up there? Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Look, I'll come over as soon as I can. Okay. Relax, Professor. I'm excited too, but you're gonna give yourself a heart attack. Okay. Thanks. See ya. I wish you'd tell me what's going on. I swear you're gonna step into a hole you may never get out of. Don't look so worried. No one knows what I'm doing. I'm perfectly safe. And I'm getting some great stuff for the book. Besides, there's something about all this. My dreams. What about your dreams? Nothing. I'll be careful, I promise. Alright, before we head over there, let's read the newspaper. Times Picayune. Dated June 22nd, 1993. Disgusted with the state of the voodoo murder case, Gabriel turns right to his horoscope. The shadow upon you is no longer reversible. Wonderful. Yeah, that will explain to this creepy guy outside. Right. I've got some things I need to do. See ya. Oh, we forgot to read the journal. Um, we didn't do that real quick. Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah. Gabriel reads through the pages Wolfgang marked. He reads of Gunter Ritter's journey to Charleston as witch hunter, hired by the townsmen to solve a series of ritualistic murders. He reads about Gunter's meeting with a beautiful slave woman, Tetolo, and of Gunter's tormenting urges for her. Oh, bastard. He reads of their physical union and passion, 
and of Gunter's investigations into the murders. The victims were all crew members on a certain slaving expedition to Africa, it seemed. The second to the last entry described Gunter's plan to set a trap for the coven committing the murders. He found the name of one of the surviving members of the crew, a man now living in the West Indies. Gunter has spread a false rumor that the man is returning to Charleston. He himself will impersonate a sailor and allow himself to fall into the hands of the coven. Naturally, Gunter has arranged for able-bodied assistants to follow and attack the coven before they can do him harm. Olsey, son of a bitch, wasn't he? Gabriel turns to the final entry of the journal. Dear Father, I offer these final words as apology for the harm done to our sacred office. The woman I wrote of, the woman I wrote of, Tetelo, was the witch I sought. I have committed terrible crimes. I loved this witch, and then betrayed her, and then used our sacred family power to free her and aid her in destroying this colony. The talisman is gone. Tetelo took it. And but pray for thy forgiveness, for thy swift recovery of the talisman, and that my punishment in hell be long and bitter. Thy underserving son, Gunther. Uh, so that explains uh, the dreams that Gabriel Knight has been having. Uh, was the one with the the burning woman and the leopard. That was. Um, and the guy that was um, Gabriel's ancestor, Gunther. And that woman was a Titlo, so. Yeah, that explains that. Alright, let's go see the university professor. Hopefully, get more uh, answers. Hey, Hot uh -oh. Ridge, what's a good word? Hot Ridge? Nice. Oh my god! Oh god, not again. Oh, they got to him too! Ugh. Something about Hartridge's death mask reminds Gabriel of the way Crash checked out. Not a pretty ending. These notes look interesting. Alright, I think that's the pattern on the voodoo thing. Yeah, right here. Cartridge's notes are scribbled on notepad paper. The Agri tribe, the People's Republic of Benin. Nambala, that's the uh, snake god. Agun Badagri, I think that's the god or goddess of death. So we're gonna have to, so we have to remember that. Before leaving the university, Gabriel notifies campus security about Hartridge's body. Well, uh, there's a drummer out here now, too. Who dog, that's not good. I will see mostly until I'm all the evidence we have. Hey, mostly. Night, I had a feeling you'd show up. Gabriel doesn't. Take a look at these notes. They're from Professor Hartridge at Tulane University. Yeah? And what about them? They confirm that the pattern from the murders is of African origin. Hmm. This is interesting, if true. But how do you know he had the right pattern? You know those marks you found around the murder victims? This is a reconstruction of the whole pattern. What makes you think this is an accurate reconstruction? Well, I borrowed the partial patterns from your police file and did my own tracing of the pattern at Lake Pontchartrain. 
An architectural artist reconstructed it for me from the partials. Really? So that's what Hartridge used, huh? I guess his analysis is on target then. Okay, the murders were committed by a legitimate voodoo cult. You proved your point. All right. Well, uh, maybe we can show him the this book here. I have this. That doesn't prove anything. Okay, guess not. Uh, what's this? Wolfgang's letter says. Oh, that's his letter. Dear Gabriel. Please read the enclosed journal carefully. It might help you understand your family's special obligations and our current predicament. God be with you, Uncle Wolfgang. Uh, we gotta show him the snake symbol here. Mosley does not. Mosley does not even know about Crash's demise yet. He's unlikely to believe Gabriel about the origins of that tattoo. Oh, okay. Let's talk to him again. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. There's been another murder. A professor at Tulane. What? What are you talking about? Just listen. This guy's name is Hartridge. He was a professor in African studies at Tulane. Yesterday, I went to see him about the voodoo murders case. He agreed to do some research for me. He calls me up this morning, tells me he's onto something big. And when I get over there, the guy's dead. People die, Knight. Was the guy's heart ripped out? Well, no, but... Then there's nothing to relate it to the voodoo murders case, which is closed anyway. The coroner will pick him up. If he asks for a homicide investigation, we'll do one. Otherwise... But I'm the link to the voodoo murders case, don't you see? Look, if I were you, I wouldn't repeat that to anyone. If I weren't an old friend of yours, I might take you seriously and lock you up. As it is, maybe you should start keeping your mouth shut. Not involve other people with this shit. You think it's so dangerous. Crash is dead. What? What are you talking about? I let him go yesterday. Yeah, and I watched him die yesterday at St. Louis Cathedral. At the cathedral? Guess he was trying to get a last minute A train ticket, eh? Poor bastard. I think you should go find the body at the morgue. He was killed by the voodoo cult. Crash said. Crash said? Did he mention pink elephants too? Aren't you going to investigate? Civilians. Did you actually see someone kill him? No. Actually, I was with him when he died. Could have been poison, though. Yeah, well, when they get the body in, they'll do a quick autopsy. Standard procedure. If it's anything other than an overdose, I'll get a report. But it won't happen. I know these guys. Lock them up overnight, and they tend to overdo it the next day. Your professionalism is astonishing. Maybe we can go see that uh, fortune teller real quick. A sign on the front oh, door of Magentia's home reads, attending a channeling seminar until August 1st. Uh, that's great. Uh, let's go see the... Oh, I get to tell you the streets. The name of the streets here. French Quarter, oh that's cool. Alright, let's go see, let's go to the Voodoo Museum. Why is it so dark in Dr. John? Hello? Uh-oh. Ah! Oh shit! <laughs> Fucking snake. All right, so we're having that fan that's in the museum, so let's just uh, turn that on real quick. Get out of here, you son of a bitch. Ugh. You bastard. Bastard. Get the fuck out of here. Good day, Mr. Knight. That thing just tried to kill me. He did? I am sorry. 
The museum is closed today, you see, and we were not expecting visitors. But if you will excuse me, Mr. Knight, I must go look for him. He is incredibly valuable. You don't need to ask twice. I'm out of here. By the way, you might want to lock your door next time you're closed. Not a bad idea. Goodbye, Mr. Knight. Hm. Where are you two? What happened to you? Who, me? Nothing. Why? Well, you're kind of a pale green color. Come here. Pale green, you say? Charming. What's that on your face? I'm sure you'll tell me. Looks like a sparkly or something. Got it. I love it when you pick stuff off my face, Grace. Hmm. Well, excuse me. Excuse me, princess. All right, so now we can use a twig, the twigs on the ashtray to pick up the scale. Looks like the python left me a souvenir. Very interesting. It's a, <laughs> it's a snake scale from the Voodoo Museum's python. <laughs> <laughs> He's a magnifying glass on that. Gabriel magnifies the snake scale from the Voodoo Museum's python. Hued with purples and greens. It matches the scale from Lake Pontchartrain. He places the two scales together. Nice, we got him now. Hey, mostly. It's you, God help me. <laughs> God help me. Alright, check this shit out. I have these two snake scales. One's from the crime scene at Lake Pontchartrain. The other's from a snake in the Voodoo Museum on Ursulines and Charters. Is this common? Do they all look alike? Not at all. They're both constrictor scales, and the coloring is the same. A python's coloring is quite individualistic. A python? That's right. Hardly an indigenous snake to Louisiana. Somehow, some way, the Voodoo Museum's python was at the scene of the Lake Pontchartrain murder. Well, I'd call that a lead, all right. It certainly suggests certain lines of inquiry at the museum. Not bad work, Knight. If we can tie them into this voodoo cult, we just might have something. Okay. I'll reopen the case. I hate to admit it, but you've done some pretty good detective work here. Oh, tonight. thank you. Well, you know what they say. Imitation is a sincerest form of flattery. Well, point taken. Glad I could inspire you. I'll check around the department, but I have a feeling I'm on my own. In fact, I better lock up this office just in case I step on a few toes. Come on. Now, lay low and let me handle this. Yeah, fine. Lucy, I uh home. -huh. I wish you wouldn't wear that coat outside in June. I could smell you from here. Could you do some research for me? Sure, what? Could you research rada drums for me? Rada drums, sure. I don't think we have any books on that topic in the shop, but I'll contact our suppliers. Assuming any of them will extend you any credit. Tell them it's an emergency. Uh-huh. I can see where a Rada drum book would be incredibly urgent. Anything else? I can't think of anything. Okay. It's time to close shop. So it is. Have a nice night. You too. See you tomorrow.
Damn. Damn. They ain't taking my calls. Shit. <laughs>